are we in more of a brotherhood and more of a sisterhood? Then he talked about nuclear weapons and how these weapons have changed the face of the earth. And then he talked about the revolution in the human spirit. And he said it this way. The world is more, and this is for me the essence of what we're talking about, as a way of honoring history, of respecting people's lives that have been shaped by segregation, by racism, by understanding this notion. The world is more and more of a neighborhood, but is it any more of a humanhood? If we don't learn to live together as brothers and sisters, we shall perish together as fools. And I am convinced that the cult cultural work and the social work of teaching is that. It's not simply academic content. It is creating, if you will, a family. I'm willing to use language like that. I'm usually even to use, willing to use the word love. The teaching is about love. Not eros. Philia. Philadelphia. The sister of sisterly love. Agape. That idea of the, old, the New Testament. Love of the commonalities of being humanity. So for me, when I, all the studies I've done now for years of the work of civil rights leaders, uh, from everybody from Ella Baker to, to uh, Coretta King, is around this notion of wanting to create a world of love, of humanity. And that most of the movement of the civil rights movement was to wanting to be responsible citizens. Wanting the right to vote to be a citizen. So how do you create schools in which kids have a sense of citizenship? How do you create a classroom where the kids have a say in the rules? You're the rule holder as a teacher, and there's a way for changing rules. But what does it mean to come together and create a social contract with each other? What does it mean to create a covenant with each other? One of the things I've noticed over the last 30 years and 40 years of teaching, years ago, when you walk into a classroom and all the rules would be stated in negative terms. Don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. Now you walk in and the rules are in cute little cardboard handouts that you bought at the teacher learning center, and it's all positive. Be respectful, be helpful, be. But I seldom see any where the kids have had a say in making them. That's the difference. They have ownership because they understand that it's how they constitute their community. So these are, I mean, very, for me, very simple ideas that take a lot of work to enact. The other point, finally, for me is in terms of being a social worker, cultural worker, you don't do it alone. You do it in relationship to other people. So don't see yourself, don't close that door and say, I'm going to sink or swim together. You know, I'm going, to, I'm going to make it. See yourself in a learning community, a professional community, even if they don't use language like that. I'm going to throw something out, especially from a culture standpoint. Um, I actually heard Sonia Sanchez speak recently. And she may said something that the room just stopped. Now I realize this. I grew up, how many people had you you know, they've taken geography out of most universities now, and the schools. And it's something about places not being, we don't know about them. She made a statement, she says, we now teach geography in blood. Mm -hmm. The room was blood, blood. Yes. and the room was chilled. We only know what because people are dying there. They're bombing them. You know, they, they, it's kind of people know where Afghanistan is because what? War. All right. All right. We know nothing. That there's no face to it. And so that is an argument now, very clearly, that we really need not only to have geography, but cultural geography. It is very difficult to do something for people are. That's the same argument I always use when they talk about our grades. And they always write those skulls. Caucasoids. What's a caucasoid? Mm -hmm. Mongolo. You know what's Mongolo? You know, Astrolo. You know what's Australia? And then there was this thing called Negro. What is Negro in Why can they call it Afrikaloid? They found it in Africa. 
but you deny a people terra firma. So, so much of what you caught and the world caught was this kind of alien thing about black folk. That's easy for them to be dehumanized because they really are not a part of the earth. Do you understand? So we've got to now begin to bring the earth back into our educational processes. That's what we, we teach geography in the blood. That gives us license to give. <laughs>